From the outside, this building here at the University of British Columbia doesn't look too much different than most, but the Center for Interactive Research on Sustainability may be the greenest building in North America, quite possibly the greenest on the planet. So we're claiming that CERS will become the greenest building in North America. To give you an example, we're going to be harvesting rainwater and utilize that as our main source of potable water, or treat it on, on site and distribute that as use uh, as potable water in the building. We're also going to be treating and recycling all the wastewater, all the liquid waste generated in this building so that we can use that reclaimed water to flush toilets and urinals and for irrigation. A little bit with purifying the water, it goes through a UV ultraviolet disinfection. SIRS building is constructed mainly with timber killed by the mountain pine beetle. In fact, there's more carbon trapped in the wood than there was carbon dioxide emitted throughout the entire construction process. And the roof is designed to be its very own self-sustaining ecosystem. The vegetation provides a meadow-like environment complete with indigenous plants for birds and insects. The SIRS building here at the University of British Columbia is a state-of-the-art living laboratory. It creates its own energy, it treats its own sewage, and it even converts rainwater from the outside into drinking water on the inside. But if you want this technology at home, you're going to have to be patient, and it will cost you. I don't have the specific numbers. It does add cost. Um, some consumers choose not to, um, not to go that route because of cost. However, um, if, it, if it's a home you're going to live in long term, you will recover that cost in maybe five years. Talking to clients, we do point out that it's, it's really a high performance type of home that you're going to be getting rather than an eco-friendly house. The goal of the SERS building is not only to preserve the environment, but to improve it. To reach this goal, it doesn't have to be the greenest building on earth, just one of many. Michael Vapove in Vancouver for BCIT Magazine.